Hi, welcome to UX Bootcamp. If you want to become a UX designer in the year 2024, you must have those doubts in your heart for a long time, right? First is what is UX design on earth, and what's different between UX and UI, user experience design, and product design? What's the difference? And is that still easy to land a UX job in the year 2024, or is it harder and harder to find a UX job? Lastly, what kind of knowledge do we need to gain before we become a UX designer? I will help you with my experience and help you to answer those questions. Let's begin. Initially, the question is, what is UX design, right? UX design is about build a bridge between users and information provided by company or computers. We help users to understand the information and even bring the user enjoyment. In order to do that, we need to learn more knowledges and methodologies help us to build up the better product. Let's talk about the job for a while. Let me introduce a few basic knowledges with you. So about the UX, no matter it's called UX or UE or user experience or UED or UCD, basically they all means one thing. That is user experience design. User experience design is the process of creating products that can provide meaningful and relevant experiences to users, bring them with good experience, even enjoyment. That's what user experience design is about. And also, we need to learn that another concept called HCI, which means human-computer interaction. HCI is a science that studies the Interactive relationship between computers and the users. Then we come to this term, UI. UI means user interface, and、uh, this could be a mobile phone like a Uber app or YouTube app, but it also can be a website or software or even artificial intelligence. So everything between users and computers, the bridge can be called as UI. So it's not just a virtual; it could be a wise UI, VR or AR UI. Let me introduce another topic to you. That is, what does UX designer do every day? First is user research. So in this、um, process. UX designers are collaborate with the user researchers, work on like persona, like focus group, interview、uh, the users to find out what actually the problem is with the users, and what the、uh, bad or happy scenarios that the user may encounter, and also we build information architecture. So we use tons of the methodologies, like creating maps or blue points, and、uh, wire framing. So in order to make UIs, we might need to create the wire framing first. So in this process, we use tools like Figma, like PowerPoints, like、uh, Keynote, and、uh, everything that we can have. Also, when we have a actual UI. So、we continue make the prototyping. So prototyping is like clickable demos, and in this process we use Figma or After Effects from Adobe and virtual design. So in this period of、uh, process we use Figma, Photoshop, Illustrator to draw virtual elements of our、uh, UIs. So many people believe that when this comes to designers, they immediately think that is a, a bunch of the people who create a virtual elements. But this is just a small part of the UX designers' job. Many designers ignore these terms, effective communication, 
but I think if you want to be a very good designer, you not uh, just be a very good at drawing stuff or thinking stuff. You also need to communicating with the others. This is a very important skills. So to summarize, responsibilities of the UX designer are user research, information architecture, web framing, prototyping, virtual design, effective communication. Nowadays, there are a bunch of the new titles in the market, but some of them are just quite same to UX designer. So don't hesitate to uh, apply for the job. One is interaction designer and uh, UX designer as a second. And we have a UX plus UI designer. We can apply for those jobs and also virtual designer and motion designer, VR, AR designer, UX researcher, UX program manager, UX engineer, conversation designer, check the job descriptions. So if the job descriptions mentioned about this job is about to creating interfaces and uh, collaborate with the uh, developers and creating interface with Figma or uh, After Effects or Photoshop, that is UX designer. So don't hesitate to apply for it. And how do we work? So it's a little tricky about UX designer because this is not an isolated job. We need to collaborate with others like I mentioned before. So first we have a leaders. Leaders as like CEO or CTO and uh, top leaders of the company. They keep the company alive, pay salaries, and uh, they always have new ideas. Then we have a user researchers. So user researchers shared some job uh, responsibilities with us, like creating personas and creating like dialogue with the users. So their job is to uh, find whether the product meets users' need. So it's quite familiar with our uh, responsibility, right? And then we have a POs and, or PMs. PO means product owner. PM means product manager. So their job is about to refine product logic, clarify re requirements, and communicate with other departments like us. And developers, POs are very important role and we will communicate with them quite often. Then we have a development team. So development team use code to restore the design and finish the product. So we need to communicate with them. We have a branding team. So in the big company, they have this department called the branding team. They are maintenance, the guidance of a brand. So our app, our platform are one of the platform of the brand. So we need to follow their rules. And then comes to UX designer. We do user research, information architecture, framework, and prototyping virtual design, effective communication. When products are designed, we have this test team to test if the product is qualified to be online. We might need to work with them as well. So if you become a UX designer, what will we focus on? So we will focus on five elements. First is strategy as a bottom layer. Then we have a scope, structure, skeleton, and the surface. So these are five different dimensions of our work. So the very bottom strategy is the foundation of our work. It means that uh, the strategy of our product, uh, we have this underlying objective that guides the design focusing on the need of the user and the business goals. When we decide it, we have the scope layer. 
So scope layer is about the requirements and features of the product, defining what will be included or excluded. Then we have the structure. So in structure layer, it's about the organization and the framework of the information, and also we determine how users interact with the product and navigate through it. Above that, we have skeleton. Skeleton is the, about the virtual form and the functionality of the product layout and uh, elements. Well, we have this surface at the top. Surface about the final graphic and um, layers that users can be interacted with. Also, it is, uh, defines the look and feel of our product. So basically, we have these five elements or five layers of our work. Let's call the five elements of UX design as a kind of a framework. So framework describes how we worked, how we um, have a process of our work. And we have another design process framework called the design thinking process. So in this way, we don't describe our job as five layers. We describe as five steps. So first step is emphasized. So to emphasize the users is to understand the environment, the challenges, the needs through the operation and the interaction and the emerging oneself into their experience. For example, we are designing a scooter app for users. We need to learn why they need scooters in the first place and understand what challenges that user might need. And second step is define. To define step, we need to analyze the information gathered during the empathy stage, understand users' problems and their needs. And I did process about to generate a range of the creative solutions through brainstorming and other ideation techniques. Then we come to what prototype, creating scaled down versions of the solutions to investigate the problem solutions in a easy form, allow for the faster explanation and the refinement. Then we come to the test. Uh, step. So in this step, we evaluate the prototypes with the real users, gathering feedback to understand what works and what doesn't work, and leading the faster uh, refinements of the solution. The third framework I want to introduce you today is two diamond. So we can see in the first diamond, we have a two big step which is discover and define. And in the second diamond, we have two big parts, which is develop and deliver. So in the first diamond, we focus on the understanding the problem space. Discover involves exploring the issue broadly, gathering the insights and uh, identifying users' needs. In the define, then narrows down those insights to clear the problem statements or challenge to address. In second diamond, which is develop and deliver, we concentrate on finding solutions. Develop involves brainstorming, prototyping, and testing various ideas. Deliver entails refining the chosen solution finalizing the design and launching the product or the service to the market. And if you want to become a UX designer in the year 2024, I think you can leave behind all the tools like Sketch or XD and even Photoshop. You can forget about that. Uh, nowadays, designers like us, we are using uh, Figma, are the main design tools and also they have a whiteboard tool called Fig Jam and also we use Flamer to create websites or Wix or Webflow 
And also we use artificial intelligence tools, which is quite hard nowadays. Uh, for example, like the ChatGPT, like Paul, like Stable Diffusion, Midjourney. That those tools can create image and a uh, text. For the videos, we can use Runway and、uh, even Sora, but which is not coming out yet. Portfolio, a UX designer's portfolio is a collection of their best work that demonstrates their design skills, problem-solving abilities, and、uh, expertise in creating user-centered experiences. Best websites than PDF, so I recommend. We learn a tool called Figma and Framer. So by those tools, you don't need to hire a coder to help you to build up your own website, but only by yourself. Portfolio websites is much better than PDF. So HR don't need to open the PDF and the last file. You can easily display all your work. And we also need a CV, a resume. A CV is a document that provides an overview of a person's education, work experience, skills, and qualifications. For a UX designer, it should be shown all the experience you have and the education and technical skills related to user experience design. Best comes with PDF. Okay, so much for today. Hope you like it. If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe us and leave comments and like. See you next episode. Bye bye.